Hi, I'm OZ Hall, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. This series is on the Korg Electribe 2 sampler. It's not a new design, but I recently acquired one, and as I'm learning to use it, I wanted to share the solutions to the technical hurdles that I encountered trying to make music with it. This is episode number so let's get started. In episode two, we're going to use the Electribe 2 sampler as a master clock for this larger analog system, the Behringer System 55. And we're going to use this sync out screen cable is going to go into the system and we'll talk about the details of that later. As we change the tempo, you can hear that the sequence is changing, and that's the context of this video. So how do we use the Electribe 2 sampler to provide a clock for our System 55 synthesizer, including the sequencers? Well, basically, we're taking a sync clock output from the sync out on the Electribe. And we'll talk a little bit more about where that goes. But the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the main menu in the pattern section and the first three parameters BPM, swing, and beat will control the timing for the overall sampler and that will lay the foundation for providing this clock sync. In the global parameters 27 of 29 on page 3 we have the clock mode which should be set to internal because it is the internal clock of the Electribe which is going to be driving the whole system. On page 7 of the global parameters we have the sync polarity. You want that to be set high. Finally the sync unit and this is basically a clock divider so at one step then there will be a clock output for every step of the sequencer. For two steps, it will divide that in half and there will be one clock pulse for every two steps of the sequencer. And we'll see that in action shortly. That's the basic configuration. Now let's take a look at what we do with this clock output. This is the clock output and 
it's a good idea to run it into some sort of a buffer like a mixer because it's going to be driving a number of inputs on the system 55. So I'm just using a mixer to buffer that clock signal so that it will be able to drive all the clock inputs that we will be using. Now let's take a look at how the sync unit, either one or two steps, will change how the clock reacts on the output.